so the basic concept when we're um, creating sheets for uh, plan and profile sheets is we want um, the file, like the base files, to, to not move at all. And we want to move the border. We want the border um, to move and to create our sheets. So this is a really, really important concept to not move any of the files. Um, but but we are going to be. And we can move the profile too, so that's. Um, it's OK to move the profile up and down as long as the elevations um, correspond with these elevations here, but we never want to move. Um, we never want um, to move the, the plan files. And we also need to make sure that our our stationing here for our profile um, match exactly with the stationing in the horizontal. So um, let me just go ahead and um, go through the workflow of of what you're actually going to be doing. So we'll say this is a this is a good sheet. This is sheet number one, and we're gonna we're gonna make seven sheets. So all you'll need to do is we'll do file save as, and then you'll change this to the next sheet. I have a question. Um, do okay. you guys work with project wise, or are you saving everything on the case? Oh, this is on the K drive. Oh, okay. And I'll send you the location of where these files are. Okay. So now we have our sheet number two. And so what I'm going to do now is uh, let me get my references here. Because I have my, nice. I have my. Can you see my references? Yes. So I usually have have them on another screen, um, but I guess that's why that's why you weren't able to see them. But mm -hmm. here, here they are. Let me see if I can. So so here is the um, the plan the reference for the for the plan so let's let's turn this off and see what all so you see so this is all the plan view and this is people will call a a motif or a container file and this is basically where you just bring in all your base files and then you can control the symbology in one file and then you only need to reference one file for your plan view. Um, so that's the plan. That's the plan. And then here, this is the border. So if I turn this off, and you see that this is the border. So this is what, what we'll be moving. So we're going to move it to the right. And then we have all our profiles, um, our profile. So we have one for the actual profile. Then we have a reference for the uh, for the stationing and and the elevations here. So what these elevations here mean are, um, I guess, do you know what these mean? Yes, those are the elevations of the profile. Yes. Um, so. The existing. Yeah. Is it the existing and the proposed? Uh, yeah, that's exactly right. So it's existing on the left side and then proposed on the right side. And then 
we have another reference for the left elevations here for our um, um, that are on the side, and then we have another one for the right. So the reason the reason we have to do this is because we we want to do the least manual work as possible because uh, we don't want to we don't want to go typing in and figuring out what what these elevations need to be and, ha and having to type type them in because it's kind of it gets kind of um, time consuming and. Um, if you can bring in a reference from your profile, um, from your profile master design file, then um, it's better than having actual, actually manually change it. Yes. So, um, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to. If, if you see here, we have this boundary, mm -hmm. and this is the, the clip, the clip of our um, of our plan B. So if we, so here's our our MOT for the plan B. If we right click and delete the clip, then we're able to see our our file. Right, mm -hmm. and also what you'll need to if we click on the plan uh, the motif as well, click on it again, we have this sheet, um, sheet clip level, and, and, uh, and these are the limits, these are going to be the limits of your sheets. So this is this is how we made it easy for you to to do right. So we have we should have seven sheets here, and so all we'll need to do is we'll need to move the border. We'll need to move these elevations, and and I think that's going to be it because we we won't we won't need to move the profile because. Um, because we just want we just want the profile to shift, right? We we don't want the same profile to be on the next sheet. So let me let me go ahead and move this, and then we can see how that works. So let me reference it again. Um, so then I'll click. Here's my profile. Actually, I don't want to move this. I don't want to move this. Elevations and my plan. Um, so, how did you select um, the three of those? Like, at this Oh, uh, you can just do shift. Oh. Or uh, control. Like, oh, okay. Shift and those. Thank you. Yes, thank you. And um, let's go ahead and copy this table here too, because this table is live in the sheet. And everything else, everything else here is either in a re uh, is in a reference. There's, I think we're going to try to keep um, all the callouts and and separate files, and the sheet is just going to be like where we assemble. So I guess really the only the only things that we'll we'll have live in the sheet are going to be maybe these tables and then our our match lines here that we need to um, that we need to update within the sheet. So I can right click and then move to move this um, to move all these at the same time. And what I'll just do is. I can use my snap at the key point, and then I can just move from this point to. Oh, wait, no, 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 no. So, so we're we're not going to move the, the motif, and I almost just did that, right? 
So I'm going to unselect them. And then we're going to select the border because this is what we want to do. So sorry if that, if that confused you, but um, we want to move the border, not the, not the motif. So then we're going to right click, move, and then I'll move um, from this sheet um, clip, the beginning of this clip, to the end. Right, and so now um, here we have our elevations on the left and right side, and we have our profile still over here. And I actually forgot to move the this, but for for these we'll need to. Um, so here's the profile. So if I delete the clip of the profile, then now we can see that we have, um, this is our entire profile. And now I can look at the, go to the profile, um, the display or the level display for the profile, then I'll click the sheet clip for that. So we have, we have sheet clips for the horizontal and sheet clips for the vertical mm -hmm. that match. And then all I'll need to do is um, move the. So what I need to do is these these elevations and this profile need to move move at the same at the same time just to make it easy mm -hmm. and. Um, how I'll do that is we'll come here and we'll select left and right and profile. And then I'll move. And then we're we're just gonna take this this top of this sheet clip for the profile all the way to the top of and match this red line here. Right, so then now I can just clip my profile, um, clip boundary. So now all, all I need to see is the profile in this, in this area. And then for these, um, to adjust these, all we need to do to adjust these elevations, all we need to do is make sure that we can see the boundary and then we can we can click here and then we can move these down. And um, there's an easy way to do this. Uh, well, I guess you can just you can just um, kind of eyeball it and see what, see where it needs to go. So now these these elevations should should match up with um, with that. And then we do the same thing here. This side, that's our elevation. And this down. And then here, um, we will, this is the station, and then we'll just move this, just move this as well. Click on this and make sure that it. So if if this ever happens, um, I like to use if you just hit the letter V, mm -hmm. you see how the origin is like all, all messed up. If you hit the if you hit the letter V, then you can um, hit hit enter after that and then you, it'll it'll lock lock in the horizontal direction. So okay. then you can just um, snap over here, and you can hit V here. Come on. So now we have our um, we have our station to match our plan B. The same thing. Right, and we have our match line here. 
Um, so let me clip the the motif or the plan view here. And we'll just go here. Motif. We'll clip boundary. We'll use this sheet clip here for our sheet. And then I'm gonna I'm gonna mirror this match line to put it on the other side of this line because that's that way. So we'll select those mirror. Make sure this is vertical. No copy. So like this point here, and then we have. Um, well, actually, I'm gonna copy this over actually first. That's side two at station 1733. So I'll just copy this over. Is. Um, so so we can't forget to change um, these these stations for this match line. And then we'll make sure to mirror that. Then we'll come here. And I think that's pretty much it. Now, now we have a sheet, a second sheet. Okay. Um. So to be so to change generally, it's the beginning and uh, stages, right? Uh, can you repeat that? Sorry. Oh, so basically, what it's going to change manually is uh -huh. only the the stations, the beginning and stations, right? Oh yeah, for the match line. Yeah, it's pretty. It's yeah, it's really only going to be those until. Um, but at the end, we'll um, when all the sheets are set, then we'll we'll come update um, update the tables. It shouldn't okay. be that bad. But okay. yeah, so um, so when you're done setting up the the sheets, then we'll um, go. We'll go back to these to these files where the callouts are, and we'll make sure all the callouts are um, displaying correctly in the plan view. I think I think the profile view should be should be fine. Um, okay. But um, I think maybe after you're after you're done making the sheet, maybe we'll let's see if this is on a. I'm debating whether or not to turn these uh, sheet clips off. Because um, sometimes, sometimes um, what I like to do is leave them there, but then have them on a no plot level, um, so you can still see. So I'm not sure if these are no plot levels. That's true. Yeah, we still. Um, so maybe we'll just maybe we'll just make sure to turn them off. So we'll just turn off those. Um, turn off the sheet clips and the in for the plan and for the profile. So let's get the profile. Turn off the sheet clips, and then. You'll just make sure to do Control F to save settings, and then it should it should save those settings for you. 